Real Madrid has done it again. Another Champions League title. This is the 15th European Cup in their history. A glorious match, which began with difficulties for Los Blancos. But in the second half, with strategy, they regained the champion mode that makes them champions once again. Let's listen to Carlo Ancelotti in his last press conference of the season. It is the result of a collective effort. This is what has happened today. In the pre-match conference, I said the same thing. This Champions League would be won with sacrifice and quality. But just one of these ingredients wouldn't be enough. And this team has left me very satisfied because we don't always play our best football, but we never give up. We always fight until the end. In the locker room during halftime, we were all calm. We all talked together, the players and I. We talked about changing the system of play. It wasn't just me who made the decision, but rather all of us together. I told them we needed to make some changes, and they agreed. And that's what we did. Tony Cross has definitively left Real Madrid. What did you say to him when he was substituted at the end of the match? What will you miss about him from today onwards? Obviously, I thanked him for everything. He has ended his career at the highest point, and doing better than this is really impossible. He had great courage to end his career. He is very happy, and he is a legend of this club, and all Real Madrid fans are grateful to him for um, what he has done. But not only for his game, but also uh, for, for his attitude and seriousness. Uh, Tony Cross has never failed a, a single day in the 10 years he has been at Real Madrid. Um, I also told him, that, um, um, we are waiting for you. If you change your mind, we will be here, you know. No one has won five Champions League titles as a coach in history, and no one has won with their son as an assistant in history. How emotional is this on a personal level, and how important is this achievement in general? Emotionally, this is something very good, yes. Uh, certainly, uh, my assistant is my family, but Real Madrid is a family. I think this is something that stands out about this club, that everyone is a football family where everyone works hard in a very healthy and clean environment, an environment created by the history, structure, and tradition that defines this club. Working in a family is much better than working in an industry, don't you think? So we all feel like we are working at home when we, when we work every day um, at the club's sports complex. Obviously, the fact that my son is by my side helps me a lot because he can tell me things that no one else can tell me in my um, When you think about the whole season, what moment comes to mind? Maybe all the injuries you have suffered, or the Manchester City match. What comes to mind after all of it? I think I'll give myself a score this time. You asked me many times, what score do you give yourself? Well, I tell you, we give ourselves a 10 this time. This season has been a 10 out of 10 season, simply because we have managed everything very well. All my team and players have been fantastic. The other day you confessed that before the matches you felt a bit of fear, but on the other hand, do you think that opponents can feel some fear when they see Real Madrid and the weight of its history? When the opponent misses opportunities like what happened to Borussia in the first half, does that weigh heavily on the second half? Yes, but in football in general, when you miss opportunities, the risk of conceding goals or losing the advantage is very great. Honestly speaking, they played better than us and had more opportunities, but they left us alive and we reached halftime with the game tied at zero. So when we started playing better and having more balance in our game, that's when we won the match. What is on your mind now? Is winning this title just another day at the office? How have you achieved this? We are hearing fans asking for the 16th cup already. 
Era así. Era así. Yes, yes, that, that's right. What I'm thinking now is that I'm really happy. Everyone expects Real Madrid to win the ninth consecutive final it plays. The danger of not having won it was real because we saw Borussia playing very well in the first half. They are a very uncomfortable opponent to play against. What will happen from now on? But we will continue to be competitive. Today we lost a very important player for us, but we have players who can replace him, although in, in a different way, but this is something we will think about little by little. We will adapt to the characteristics of the players we have, as we always have and as I always have. We won't have cross, so we will have to play differently. But we have fantastic players and many resources to be competitive. How can you reset the players to play for the seven titles you will compete for next season? How can you maintain the desire to keep winning after what you have achieved? Is the new goal to win seven titles? Yes, but here we don't have the danger of having a full belly from, from having won titles. Being in this club requires us not to think about having a full belly. Now we have to enjoy it. Tomorrow we will have another fantastic day celebrating with our fans. After that, we will rest. Our players will then be in the European Cup and others in the Copa America. And then we will all return with the same enthusiasm and desire as always. What will be your next career tar target? Target? Um, <laughs> To try to do my best all the time, to try to do my best. I think um, um, this competition gave to me fantastic uh, happiness um, as a player, as a manager. And um, uh, my target is to try to repeat the same emotion that we had uh, the week after, after this game. And, and so. This is the, the, the target. I am. I, uh, I have the luck to be in the best club in the world. In Spain, they say second parts are never good. But your second stage at Real Madrid has not only been good, but excellent. Did you imagine a few years ago when Jose Angel Sanchez called you to return to Real Madrid that you would have the success you are having now? Honestly, it is very difficult to imagine that we could achieve what we have done in three years, winning two Champions League Cups and two leagues. It is not easy to do with a team that is changing little by little. But the change is being made by Real Madrid. With this, I mean that it is a process that the best club in the world is doing. The fact that I was able to return here is a great gift for me and I'm enjoying it. I'm trying to give my best and make the most of the moment. Thank you, Mr. Angelotti, and congratulations to Real Madrid. Thank you.